Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result, and welcome to my HTML5 and CSS3 video series. So in this video, we are going to be learning how to make a navigational bar. Okay, so so far I've already created the basic structure of an HTML page and I've added a heading 1 and a link to our style sheet that is here. Okay, so now let's start by making the navigational bar. So let's first go look at an example of a nav navigational bar. So if we go for instance to my website, which is seanresult.com, here's my website as you can see. And this top bar here is a navigational bar. Okay, so this is a navigational bar. And for instance, if we go to my other other website, which is programming helper you'll see here I also have an example of a navigational bar. Or for instance, um, this is also an example of one. For instance, the menu you see here. Okay. So this is also a navigational bar. And what other examples can we, for instance, have? If you have any example, for instance, you can even go into, let's go into YouTube. Or Bing. Okay, Bing. So, 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 so this here is a navigational bar as well, as you see here at the top. And if you go into YouTube for instance, YouTube also has some sort of navigational bar. So here what you see at the top here is navigational bar. Okay, so let's make our own one. One we'll be making is more similar to this one and this one. Okay, more to this one. Okay, so let's start. To make a navigational bar, we'll be adding an unordered list. And then we'll make one, let's make three, three list items, okay? And within each list item, we are going to be having a link. So let's make a navigational bar that links towards search engines. So the first one we'll make Bing. The address for Bing is okay. Let's copy and paste this. So you have one for Google. And then we have one for Yahoo. Okay, so if we save this now and refresh our page, let's zoom in a bit. You can see uh, here is the navigational bar, but it doesn't yet look like a navigational bar, right? Okay, so let's go and fix that. Let's go to the settings here. Let's create some code for the UL as well as for the list items and for the links inside of the list items. Okay, so for UL, we'll start by saying list style type and make this none. And you give it a background color of black. Save it, refresh. So this is how it looks now. Let's first remove the background color. So let's remove the um, type there. This gives the color, as you can see here. Then in the list items, we'll want to float to left, which gives us this illusion. Okay, let's also just put on the H1 here, we'll put a clear both to make navigational bar appear under the nav bar. Oh yeah, um, the UL tag can also be wrapped inside of a nav HTML5 element. So this tells the browser that we are, we are now making a navigational bar. So remember to add this inside of a nav bar. Okay. Okay. Then for the links, we'll be adding display them as block. We'll give them a color of white. We'll text align them as center. We can give them padding, for instance. 14 pixels, 16 pixels, 
and give them a text decoration as none. Save this. Let's refresh. Okay, then let's give the UL a height of, for instance, 44 pixels. Boom, as you can see here, we have our, our navigational bar already displaying, okay? Um, now we can do is we can add a hover effect for the anchor element. We'll, and we'll just make the background color go to gray. So when you hover over it, it goes gray, okay? Let's fix this padding a bit. Let's make the padding 67. 47 pixels okay 46 pixels and boom we have navigational bar but now we see a bit of padding here at the top and left corners of it we can fix that by giving the ul a padding of zero and a margin of zero so so, so we just make sure that it, that it is zero and also go to the body and we just want to make sure that the body that the body's margin is zero as well as the padding of the body is zero as you can see now we have a navigational bar all set and ready okay so yes so you can do it this way what you can also do is you can actually remove the height here but then it won't display as you can see here to fix that we're going to be adding a an overflow I'd make this to hidden. Save it, refresh. So you can also use that. Um, so instead, instead of giving it the height, you can also give it overflow as hidden. Okay, guys. So you can also remove the block here. But then it will display like this. So, so just keep that in mind. The block allows us to give it padding, which allows this. So yes, guys, that's basically how to make a navigational bar. Um, so you can just go in and add more items here. For instance, we can add um, contact Sean result here, and we can add my email there. So we, we can say mail to me at seanresult.com. Save this. It's so there. So if I click here, it automatically open up my Gmail account, and then. People can email me there. I'm going to close that now. Okay, so. Yes. And we can if it's just even, even align this specific one to right. So let's give this. This item. An ID. Of. Align right. Then here we just select the line right. Hashtag. And we float it to right. As you can see, so now it's floated to the right. So you can also float some items to the right side of it. So yes, guys, that's basically how to make a navigational bar in CSS and HTML. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you haven't already, then please make sure to subscribe down below for more awesome videos. And if this video helped you in any way, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe and share this video. And here on the left side, you can check out all of my social media links and you can go follow me there. So yes guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the, ne in the next video. Bye bye.